this video is for class 9 physics and today's topic is common consequences of the atmospheric pressure so first one among the common consequences is soaking a drink with a straw when a drink is soaked with a straw first the air in straw goes into your lungs due to which the air pressure inside the straw decreases the atmospheric pressure acting on the surface of the drink being more than the pressure inside the straw forces the drink to move up into the straw which then reaches into our mouth okay let us try to understand this so here initially when you take a drink okay and when you immerse a straw in it what happens here this portion here okay from here to here it is empty there is no drink so when you try to suck in first actually you suck the air contained in this particular portion of the straw so when the air goes into your mouth or into your lungs here then what happens is the atmospheric pressure acting on the surface of the soft drink okay will win the pressure inside this straw here okay hence the atmospheric pressure is pushing the a drink okay into the straw and hence it will go in your mouth i hope you understood this okay we can go to the next one which is filling a syringe with a liquid filling a syringe with a liquid when syringe is kept with its opening just inside a liquid and its plunger is pulled up in the barrel the pressure of air inside the barrel below the plunger becomes much less than the atmospheric pressure acting on the liquid as a result the pressure forces the liquid to rise up in the syringe so there's a small clip uh, instead of uh, this uh, syringe i have used one pen okay uh, so uh, we can go to the clip we have come to the clip and here we have taken a one pen with a barrel and a, a plunger as the plunger moves out okay as you can see when the thumb pulls the plunger here you can see a uh, pressure drops at this portion pressure is dropping at this portion okay so now uh, let us try to fill ink in this uh, uh, pen uh, from this ink pot right so as i need to dip the nib of the pen in the ink pot first okay and need to pull the plunger out okay so what really happens is what really happens is as the plunger is being pulled out uh, you can watch my thumb here as the plunger is being pulled out right the partial vacuum or i can see a pressure drops at nearly at this position and the atmospheric pressure acting on the surface of this ink okay helps the ink to get filled in this barrel okay so now my pen is uh, filled with ink right and i have used atmospheric pressure to fill it i hope you understood this uh, sequence here how it is being filled right how the atmospheric pressure acts so now i think we can go to the next topic uh, which is filling of ink into a fountain pen although it's same here but in that particular uh, paragraph the pen is not with this barrel and the plunger okay it's something else let's see so filling of ink into a fountain pen as a syringe is filled with a liquid due to the atmospheric pressure ink also gets filled into the fountain pen just now you have seen till here the pen is kept with its nib inside the ink we have seen this also so when the rubber tube of the fountain pen is pressed now rubber tube of a fountain pen is pressed that particular fountain pen did not have this rubber tube instead of this we had 
a barrel and a piston. Almost all the air of the rubber tube expels out in the form of bubbles into the ink. When the rubber tube is released, the pressure inside the rubber tube is much less than the atmospheric pressure acting on the ink. As a result, the ink rises into the tube through the capillary below the nib of the pen. Okay, let us try to understand this mechanism also. Here we are taking a pen. Okay, let me try to make one pen. Okay, so this is the pen uh, with a rubber tube. Okay, with a rubber tube. Okay, and this pen is dipped. And this pen is dipped right in a in an ink pot having this ink. Okay. Now what happens? Suppose I start pressing this particular rubber tube. If there is any air in the rubber tube, the air from the rubber tube slowly goes out through the nib and through the ink into the atmosphere. Now as you all know, there must be some atmospheric pressure acting on the surface of the liquid. Okay, so when this particular pressure from outside is released now, when you stop pressing it, now as you can see, the pressure inside this is less compared to the atmospheric pressure. So what happens, the ink present in that ink pot will slowly go through the nib, through the capillary to the tube. Hence, the ink is filled in the tube. I hope you understood till here. Coming to the fourth consequence, action of rubber suckers. Rubber suckers are often used as hooks in the kitchen and bathroom. For this, rubber sucker is pressed hard against the wall so that the air between the sucker and the hole is forced out, creating a vacuum in between. The atmospheric pressure acting on it from outside then holds the sucker along with the hook on it firmly against the wall. For form grip, the wall must be smooth. Okay, uh, I have made a small clip to explain this. Uh, let us go to the clip. We have come to the clip, right? Here you can see there is a rubber sucker and there is a plane mirror, right? Uh, I've chosen a plane mirror so that its uh, surface becomes smooth and the sucker can easily stick to it, okay? It can be done on the surface of a tiles also, right? So let us uh, play the clip. So. I have used a rubber sucker which I was using to hang a clock on the wall. Okay, as you can see here, uh, the rubber sucker has a curved portion here in between. Uh, here, this portion here is a curved portion here, and it can peel the what do you say the paint from the wall. Okay, uh, it was so strong. Okay, it was holding a clock. So now let us try to use this uh, to lift the mirror now i am placing the soccer on the mirror and uh, now what will i do is i'll try to lock it okay i'll try to sorry lock it so as i'm locking it what happens is uh, there is a partial vacuum created between the surface of the mirror and the soccer as you can see it can be lifted okay so it can be easily lifted with the help of a soccer at this uh, position what you can see is right actually what is the mechanism okay here because of this lock system the rubber pad inside this black portion has curved a bit such that it is creating a partial vacuum in between the surface of the mirror and the rubber now as you all know atmospheric pressure is acting on the surface of the soccer right here right so now what happens is because of this atmospheric pressure it is helping the soccer to stick to this surface of the 
mirror to stick to the surface of the mirror because there is no pressure from inside to counteract there is no pressure from inside here to counteract this atmospheric pressure if there was air in between them here if there was air then the atmospheric pressure would be would have been same from both the sides hence this soccer will not stick let us see how should i take it out from the plane surface now to take it out from the plane surface what will i do is i will uh, unlock the hook when i'm unlocking the hook here less amount of air is getting entered in the soccer right so i have just uh, pulled it upwards and trying to unlock it right now i have unlocked it uh, but still it is so strong that it can even lift the mirror which is very light okay compared to its power easily so now to remove the soccer from the surface of the mirror what i have done is i am trying to please uh, uh, look here my thumb i have trying to push the uh, rubber portion upward so that air gets in between the uh, rubber and the mirror so now as the air went in both the uh, sides had same atmospheric pressure hence the soccer could have been taken out from the surface okay this much for the rubber soccer let us go to the next point the next point here is action of a siphon system action of a siphon system so what is a siphon okay it is a mechanism by which we can transfer liquids from a higher level to a lower level with the help of a rubber tube or any kind of pipe so water is supplied from a higher level to a lower level using a siphon system okay figure 4.17 shows the siphon system in which there are two vessels p and q vessel p is at the higher level than the vessel q water content in the vessel p is passed to the vessel q by the means of glass or rubber tube ab with one end a kept immersed inside the water in vessel p while the other end b is kept open in the vessel q okay, let us see the diagram so here we have vessel p and vessel q vessel p is at the higher level than vessel q okay and there is a rubber tube or a glass tube used whose name is ab okay to transport the liquid from p to q now what happens is initially a pipe is dipped in the liquid okay in vessel p or the any vessel which is kept at a higher level it's not necessary that the pipe needs to be in this shape uh, the pipe can be in this particular shape also it does not matter right now uh, let us go to the paragraph now how to uh, move okay how to transfer the liquid from vessel p to vessel q now to transfer liquid or water from the vessel p to vessel q first air is sucked out from the tube at the lower end b of it now here from here right from here the air is sucked out with the help of mouth or with the help of a vacuum pump anything right the air is sucked out now the since the air can be sucked out from the tube okay now what happens is the pressure inside the tube will fall because there is no air and as the atmospheric pressure as you can see here is acting on the surface of the liquid uh, in the vessel p will push the liquid okay inside the tube will push the liquid inside the tube because pressure at a is very high okay is atmospheric pressure plus the liquid pressure so the liquid will rise up to level c now once the liquid rises to the level c then what happens since the pipe is empty and because of the weight of the water itself the liquid or the any water uh, liquid or water can drop in vessel q i hope you understood this siphon system the last consequence of atmospheric pressure taking out oil from a sealed oil can it is difficult to take out oil from a completely filled or a sealed can by making a single hole in it the reason is that there is no air inside a completely filled and sealed oil can when can is tilted the pressure due to the column of oil at the hole is much less 
then, then the atmospheric pressure outside the can so the oil does not flow out of the hole but if one more hole is made at the opposite end on the top cover of the can air outside the can will enter it through this hole and will exert atmospheric pressure on the oil from inside along the pressure due to oil column this results in the increase in pressure on oil and so it easily flows out through the hole of the can so let me explain this let us consider a uh, oil can right suppose it has uh, oil in it till its rim right full of oil and I am supposed to take this oil out so in order to take the oil out we are making a hole one hole at one end so after making the hole the tin can should be tilted let this be the tilted position here let this be the tilted position here so we have a hole here right and we have oil level like this somewhat like this so now what happens is the oil because of its pressure will try to come out from this hole right but what happens uh, what hinders the oil is the atmospheric pressure acting from this hole because there is only one way from where the oil can come out and the only one way from where the atmospheric pressure can act so this atmospheric pressure will try to obstruct the oil to come out although the oil can drop okay although the oil can drop okay but not in big amount it will not be a, a smooth flow so what we can do is we can make another hole at the opposite end so that atmospheric pressure can act through it when the atmospheric pressure act through it when the air enters through that hole this atmospheric pressure acts on the free surface of the oil inside the can now and hence uh, because of this atmospheric pressure here and the pressure of the oil the oil can easily flow sorry the oil can easily flow out right i hope you understood this thank you so much